Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome to this one-off video where we're going to be doing a little troubleshooting with Cisco's Virtual Internet Routing Lab, or Viral. So I've been running Viral successfully on my MacBook Pro laptop for a number of months now. And as you can see, I've got the VM Maestro GUI up, and I went to launch a simulation. So I haven't had Viral running in a couple of weeks, and I didn't think that that would be an issue, but for whatever reason, when I went to start Viral up, I received this error. And it's basically, when you go into the Details tab, if I were to collapse the Details tab, and then open it up a little further, you can see we get this air launching simulation, java.net dot connection exception host is down. Now the interesting thing is, is that the Java virtual machine is up and running. So if I scroll over here, you can see that the virtual machine is up and running. Now, it says manage viral using the user workspace manager at http colon slash slash and then we get this IP address. That's the local IP that I use to access the GUI, right, or the administration GUI. And so let me float back here to the main screen. So it's interesting that this error gives you the impression that the VM, the viral VM, is not running, but that is not the case. The VM is running. So what could be the problem? Well, I did some digging around and I couldn't find anything specific to this error message in particular. However, I was able to track down this link here. And it said it was an already connected Java error. Now, again, this isn't the error that I'm getting, but this did get me to my resolution. Uh, and so you can see it gives you, it says open web services by clicking on the username uh, at the bottom right of VMM and then click restore defaults. Well, th what this did was it triggered in my memory. Uh, when I saw this HTTP down here with the port number, I was like, wait a second, there's something in the VM Maestro config that I had to initially change where I changed everything from localhost leaving the port number to the IP address, that 192.168.191.130 address that we saw. And that same address, that's the address, this 192.168.191.130 that I use to access uh, the web interface, right? So you launch the viral virtual machine. You can then access it via this web GUI using the address that was provided by the virtual machine when it fired itself up. Uh, and then this is how you would make your configuration changes. You don't actually do anything from the CLI. You want to do it all here uh, in the GUI, much easier to deal with. So that triggered something in my memory when I was setting things up. So I decided to check, right? So I pulled up VM Maestro, and you can see I'm running 1.5.0, uh, and I was like, okay, hold on, I've seen that before, where did I see that? Well, let me close that, and again, this is very easy to replicate. I'm just going to click Start, you're going to see it's going to come up, and I can get this error every time, and I'll just say OK. But under VM Maestro, under the Preferences tab, where you had to do this was under the Web Services for the Auto Net Kit, Simulation Engine, OpenStack, and the roster. And take a look. For whatever reason, the between the last time I ran it and now, I've got this problem here where, for whatever reason, I used to have IP 192.168.191.129, but it changed. And I don't know why it changed. I didn't change it. It just simply changed it to 130. So let's change it to 130, you're going to see it's going to light up green, right? It says unverified, please wait. And then it's going to verify because it's verifying it against the viral virtual machine, right? That black screen with the CLI. So I'm going to come down here and we're going to change all of these to 130. And we should see that we end up, and I'll say 130, uh, with everything getting cleaned up here. 
And so let's go ahead and let it verify. And interestingly enough, this cleaned up when I did it not more than five minutes ago. This worked. There we go. Okay, so compatible. So it worked there. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it just looked like it hung a little bit. It had me worried. I was like, hold on a second. I just did this in a walkthrough to make sure that that was what was wrong. And there we go. What we could have also done, I could have clicked Restore Defaults. And then that would have dropped that local host entry in here for me. And again, we've got some software updates that we could get. I will take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I walked through this. I could have clicked Restore Defaults. It would have given me the local host entries. Uh, and then we would have been good to go after we change it back to this 192.168 address. Now, your address could be different. Chances are it's going to be different. I'm actually running viral on... Uh, a, an, a MacBook Pro, I'm sorry, MacBook Pro, an iMac Pro, uh, where I have much more uh, RAM and uh, much more CPU power. That's why I typically uh, only run it on my MacBook Pro laptop here from time to time. And again, that two-week period, I ended up with a new IP address. So this is where you come to fix it. You're going to open Maestro, you're going to come in and fix it, and then here's this little simulation I threw together as a test. Let's go ahead and say... Launch the simulation. I'm going to see some details here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let me apologize. I don't have a microphone hooked up to my uh, MacBook Pro. And there we go. And I'm just going to click no for that. And so the simulation nodes are going to start. And so here they are. And you can see that everything's starting up. We've gotten past that error message. So again, if you receive that Java error message, in viral, this is how you would troubleshoot it. All right, well, I hope this helps somebody out there on the wire. I know that it was a little frustrating for me here this morning. Uh, again, took me about 15 minutes to track down the actual information that kind of triggered uh, my memory as to how or where I actually set that up. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving week, and I will talk with you soon.